So a few videos ago, we found this tractor in the back of the shed. This come on the farm back in 1930-odd or World War II, whenever it was. And there's a fair bit of history behind it, but we're gonna look into that in another video. So next week, we're gonna start sandblasting all this to uh, try and restore it. We're not gonna be doing a nut and bolt restoration, but we are gonna do like a, uh, you know, just get it painted and put some new tires on it because I've got a job lined up for it. So it's, you know, came on the farm generations ago, my great granddad, and I just thought I wanna make it look tidy. But I was a bit concerned when we water blast this, that I, don't, I, don't, I think it'll be all right, but I wanna, I wanna try and, I wanna be quite delicate with it because all like this front, this front bit here is all still very, very delicate. So we're gonna have a go at laser cleaning it. And I know just the bloke who has got a laser cleaner. So I'm gonna undo this, take this off the front, and then we're gonna go and have a go and see, are these laser cleaners any good? So let's get going. What blooming? Hello. What jump is this? What do you mean? <laughs> It's not a first jump and it's not a well, Tom Lang one. I haven't had any for a while. Think about it? the merch. Sorry. Right, Tom, what are we talking about? Right, so we've got the front office tractor. Yep. And I thought, who's got a laser cleaner? Colin's got a laser cleaner. But this is quite old now, isn't it? Yeah, I've had this for about two years. And to be fair, I haven't used it that much, really. It is quite big. They've got a lot smaller now. I can never be bothered to drag it around. And also, I haven't really wanted to do much laser rust removing since I've had it. And but it's a laser welder as well, isn't it? It does weld as well. And it's got like this little reel in here. And it's like a MIG welder, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this, this has got the... Um, this has so much landed on this. <laughs> So it's been a smart, smart accident. Okay. So yeah, but that's got like the, uh, the wire, wire in there and then you basically turn it on and if the screen worked properly, then you'd be able to- What have you done to that? I oh, said, something landed on it. So <laughs> <laughs> Does it still? No. Oh. Oh no, you can't. Yeah, all right, it. anyway. Anyway. So the gun, you either do- yeah, the gun, you either do that or you just screw the end on, don't you? For the, yeah. or you, no, you unscrew the end, sorry. For... Let's, let's hold it up so you can see. So, same gun, whether you're welding or cleaning, but when you're welding, you basically put the little nozzle on the end and then the little, the wire feed comes out and goes and that, near it. the laser j just must melt the... It melts the wire and melts the metal. It is quite, it's weird. It makes a really neat job but if you're used to doing any other welding, it's a bit weird because A, you can't, quite, you can't see any penetration. It just goes bzzz, and it's just like a real bright light and then it's just done it. We did use, I remember when you first got it, we did use it and it's like learning to weld again, isn't it? Yeah, and I remember the bloke that brought it out said the people that can't weld before this find it easier than the people that can. It's basically like pulling up, but you just literally get hold of it and go yeah, like that. Yeah, and you just move it across. Whereas with like TIG, MIG and everything, you're looking at your pull, you're listening to it and stuff. There's all those things. You don't need to worry about any of that. No. You just need to have faith, hopefully, that the machine's doing what it's supposed to be doing. But this anyway. Is, this is three phase power as well, isn't it? Well, this is actually a single phase unit but it is plugged into my three phase power supply. Okay. So it's only actually using one of the phases. And then we've got, we, we're on pure shield argon with it as well. Yeah, same as the TIG welder. So what do you, what is it, what's it want that for, do you think? It's to keep it cool. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, so it's not actually using it for the laser? Well, it or, will do on welding mode, but oh, on okay. cleaning mode, you still need it. So I'm guessing it's some sort of cooling thing for whatever's in here. And we haven't I turned it up full power, because you said on small, yeah, so basically, like when you see these videos of everyone like burning the, uh, the, the rust off, it's easy to look at it and think it's just getting rid of the rust, but it is actually very slightly like melting the metal. So if you have it on too powerful, you go and take the rust off, you, actually, you end up making everything look like a rasp nearly, because as the laser's like whipping across, it's actually scoring the metal. So you need to get like the power right, or else you just end up like like just like roughing it up like mad, which, you know, maybe that doesn't matter if you just sand it down sort of thing and then you're spraying it or filling it, it's not a problem. But on something like this, because obviously you don't want to damage that, no. so you just want to finally like take as much rust off as you can. I mean, I think that this Aqua Blaster is going to do a, a good job, but I just thought it might be good to try this because where it says farm all just here, that's like really delicate and old. And yeah. I thought that's literally just going to blast that away. The only thing I'd be a bit worried about is that mesh but then it should be all right. 
But do you want to have a go on the... Uh... I bought a scrap bit of steel to have a go with to begin with. Yeah. This is just about... And this has got a bit of paint on it. Mm. So we can see if it's going to burn it off. Right. Right. So this is on the lowest setting at the moment. Uh, you're it. on 800 watts at the minute. I'll take you down a little bit. You can see we just had a quick go here a minute ago. I've just put the sunglasses I'll on as well. I'll put it on 500. 500 watt? Yeah, it can go up to 2,000. So you've gone quarter power. Okay, so I'm going to pull the trigger. Yeah. And we need an optimal... Yeah, there's like a focal point. You'll know, you'll, when you push it in and out, you'll see when it starts to like work better. That's about right, that is. About that? Yeah. It's actually doing a really good job, isn't it? It's completely burning all the paint off. There you go, there's your focal point. There. That's what I want, isn't it? This steel's quite thick. Right. That's done quite a... It's yeah. burnt all the paint off, isn't it? It's like... Yeah. Turn it up 2,000, go on. <laughs> go on, go on, go on. Okay. <laughs> go on. We won't do 2,000 on this one. No. Right, go for it. Ready? Yeah. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> That's literally burning everything. Oh, it smells like fireworks now, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it smells like sparklers. Yeah, I'll go a bit closer, because you're too far away there. Oh, yeah. They are Tom Lamb. Sounds cool, doesn't it? Oh, it does. Right, so now we've done that. This is the part I want to concentrate on, this bit that says, says like farm just here, but we want to just turn it back I'm down. Gonna I'm going to put you on like 200 or something. So it's, or should I put you down to what it was before on that one? Uh, yeah, you can do, can't you? Uh, technology, five. No, I'll do, I'll do, do four, 400. All right, 400 then. That's literally doing a perfect job. It's literally perfect, look, isn't it? It's not even... There you are, Tom. Do you want it any more than that? No, or? I think... It's kind of weird, because it's rusted, it's pitted it quite a bit, isn't it? The rust, so... I think your... I could go a little bit faster with this, but... Yeah, I've got a wire brush here. Go on, try and wire brush it. I'll tell you what I did think about doing. What? I've got like a bit of um, na fungal nail on my little toe. I thought about no, don't burning do that. it off. <laughs> I, 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 I you kill ourselves with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of weird because you're getting rid of the rust but the pitting's always still going to be there. But yeah, no. but the paint will fill that, won't it? It will, Tom. Are you powder coating it, or are you going to paint no, it? No, we're, we're just going to paint it. It's not going to be a nut and bolt restoration, but it's not but going to be far off. Tom Lamb. You don't have to sing to me whilst I do it, Colin. Sorry. Keep forgetting I'm mic tonight. It's working really well, actually. Gonna do the uh, the top of this now. So like around this, this is where the radiator cap goes. I 
gets in all the creases as well. Yeah, it's quite good. Yeah. It's like something fut futuristic out of Star Wars. Very fast. You can see here, if we'd have blasted that, You've got to remember this is from like 1930s this bit of steel so that's why i'm trying to uh trying to do it without wrecking it really and hopefully the paint will just cover all the um cover all the imperfections up there's oh. still a bit of white just here so if we just tom lamb wrecking gone stuff. no I don't, I don't think i've ever heard the tom lamb wrecking stuff before just a bit curious what would happen if we held it on this bit just here for too long. Um, it's just, ow! It's just melted the end of it off. There's a little lump here that I just want to try and try and remove as well. And then a little, that's it, just a little bit there. A little bit there. Uh, yeah, that's that's brilliant. That is. Are you pleased, Tom? I'm, yeah, I'm quite pleased. I'm glad you pleased. This is the bit I wanted to save. And um, what's this? <laughs> what's that? That that there was a part there that I had to yeah. clean. But as you oh, you've got to keep it clean. Well, as you've rightly pointed out, if I paint it and it shows through, we've got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I wouldn't worry about it, Tom. No. So it's what, very what, fitting. So. You obviously don't use it that often because it's a bit, it's quite big, isn't it? Yeah, it's weird because like, I mean, the MIG weld is big and the TIG weld is big, but yeah, I mean, I haven't needed to do much rust removal. No, so. whereas I have, it's not, you, you yeah. use all new steel, don't you? I mean, you? when I got it, it was in the idea that at some point when I do my Mark II Hilux, yeah. that's going to be blooming handy. You're going to clean all the chassis with it? Yeah, and all the bits of rust that you can't get in because, you know, like, like you were saying, the thing with this is you've only got to be able to see it and you can rust remove it. Whereas if you wanted to do this with a grinder or a sanding thing, and all these little bits in here are real finicky, aren't they? Whereas you can just yeah. and get into it. So if you wanted to do like through holes or anything like that, it'll do it. I think it's got a place really, hasn't it? I'd, I'd be interested to see what the smaller ones. Yeah, because that's quite big now compared to what they are. Well, I think you can get ones now that are about the same size as my TIG welder. So. But this is 2000 watt. 2,000 watt. Yeah, or two kilowatt or whatever. I've no idea what the, what the ones they sell online. No, like, really. I, don't, I don't know. So. Oh. But they are. Well, thank you very much. That's we're, all right, Tom. We're going to go and, um, we're gonna go and uh, start taking a few other bits off because we're going to aqua blast the rest of it and uh, do a bit of a restoration project. What is it? Is this your dad's tractor or something? This is my great granddad's tractor that he bought. This is a bit of heritage. Oh. Keeping it in the farm. We'll go up here to start with, look. really quick. It does get it warm, but it doesn't get it warm enough to bend it. Yeah, you've got to be careful. If you hold it on it too long, it will get it, it 
will get it too hot and probably warp the steel. So that was the, uh, the laser cleaner and welder. Um, I'd be very interested to know what other people sort of think to it. Um, has anybody else got one? Do you do one that's any smaller? Obviously we're saying that's quite, quite, I wouldn't say old technology now, but things with lasers are moving incredibly fast. So um, yeah, have, have you got a smaller one? I don't really know, you can get them off the internet. I don't know how much they are. Um, I just wanted to use that one just to clean that little far more badge I've got. Um, and then in the, one of the next videos, we're gonna get the Aqua Blaster and we're gonna clean the whole tractor and then paint it and hopefully put a couple of tires on it and um, not, wouldn't say restore it to original, but make it look nice, neat and tidy and tidy it all up. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Thanks to Colin for letting me use uh, the laser cleaner and um, we'll see you all soon.